Lines in the sand have been drawn when these two have played before. Oh, and Vanderford letting Lipson right go. Oh, they can't do that. And this means plenty today. This is the 1980s revisit and it is on everywhere and he boys. Could Sheedy's men look themselves in the eye if they were to fall short once again? Thanks very much, Cordis. Dan here with the Essendon Cheer Squad. Big task you got today, Jules, that yes. Sheeds wants you to keep some eye on some Hawthorne players. Yes, in particular those forwards, I tell you. Um, Franklin, Dixon and, and Ruffhead, we've got special task to keep an eye on him. So he thinks that they're blocking off the ball and he wants you and all your colleagues down here in the Cheer Squad to keep an eye out and if he, you notice anything, you're going you're gonna to message it and get up to the Essendon uh, coaches box. Is that right? Well, actually, we've been briefed and we can't divulge that. But, uh, yes, we have a direct link to the coaches box. But, uh, yes, we have a direct link to the coaches box. And the Essendon and, and Hawthorne boys, it's on for young and old. This is going to be some sort of game. News elsewhere just regarding... Another player with player misbehaviour in the news. Ray Hall from the Richmond Footy Club involved in a barroom dispute on Friday night has been suspended for three games by the club. That will come into force when he's available for selection and has been pinged with a $5,000 fine. Boys, it's going to be all happening on the field and off it today. Good luck with the call. Well, I don't... Got the stopping job on Luke Hodge playing as a defensive half forward, so that's a real win for the Bombers early. And he's been able to get off him a couple of times also, so Hodge will want to float off and go third man up in those contests, so yeah, definitely Welsh has got to become a target there. Hodge got it to Lewis, now Sewell out in front of McPhee. He's got support inside by Franklin. Now loose player just inside attacking 50 is Boyle, and the clever kick from Franklin was able to pinpoint straight to Boyle. He's kicked seven goals, six for the season. Three goals, four from set shots. Great kick off the boot. Hawthorne have their first at the G. Aguera. He had nowhere Hawthorne. to go. He had nowhere to go. Hawthorne players were flooding back. So that's why he looked up. An Essendon player had to present, but didn't quite get there. Crawford to Birchall. Stay on the mark. Play on now. Hard lead from Boyle. And he's rewarded. He's about 65 from goal. Franklin the lead, and that's a good mark, good pass, just got away from his opponent Fletcher, who was just manning him up there. So Hawthorne, that's what confronts Rick Ladson. Great kick. Gillum, Guerra, Vandenberg, oh, just loops it high, McGlynn did well just to knock it to the back to the voice of Shane Crawford. Crawford now, can he find a target? Dixon oh, on a long lead, what a kick it was. And Ben Dixon has been inaccurate this year three goals seven kicked three behind Lewis last week against the bulldogs deep into the pocket there bot the rise but too late and jordan lewis has hawks trail by three goals this would be very handy as we count down to quarter time oh the goal up player doesn't move hawthorne have their second the chance bypasses him chance here for dixon or oh, he's run down by michael but he'll get the free oh. kick push in the back <laughs> Let's have another look at it. Michael Voss, is there a free kick there? Mel, I'm um, no. sorry. <laughs> it was only just though. Uh, yes, we have a direct link to the coach's box. He's normally an accurate kick, Ben, Do ben Dixon. This time he kicks a goal and the Hawthorne close to within six. Is there any evidence of Hawthorne blocking in that first quarter? Well, oh, quarters I couldn't find any, so I went over to Jules in the Essendon cheer squad. She said that she had nothing to report at this particular point in time, so she's found nothing. nothing certainly nothing in Hawthorne's inside 50, but Chris Heffernan down the other end, I reckon certainly once, maybe even twice, ran a little screen block for Courtney John. So Michael Voss mentioned it at the start of the show that Essendon's one of the masters at running these blocks. Maybe all attention was being deflected by Sheedy because that's what... All attention was being deflected by Sheedy because that's what... All attention was being deflected by Sheedy because that's what they're doing down their end of the ground. Well, we can't accuse this game not moving fast enough. When the ball flows, it gets one from one end of the ground really quickly. Just one in the run. Go the footy. So it'll be Laycock against Boyle. And Laycock wins out comfortably. Boyle read it. Got it to Dixon on his wrong side. It's not a bad effort from Ben Dixon, it's home! Great snap, he's got his second. To Winderlich, back to Lovett, oh, oh, for the bad oh, bounce. 
The Windlick handball missed the target, and you can pay a dear price for that in the modern game as away go Hawks. Young into the pocket, Franklin. Tight angle from there. And that's why oh, Young's calling for it back, right on 50, but Franklin has put the mouth guard in the shorts and tucked the footy under the arm. He wants a <laughs> shot. Now I'm behind it because he can influence the contest so well. well. He's missed two relatively easy shots, now for the hard one. Happens every time. Birchall and Clinton Young. Now he's a long kick. He's 60 from goal. Loads up on the left boot and kicks it into the pocket. And Franklin, who is really p providing a headache for this bomber defence, he kicked six last week. He's kicked one three already today on the left boot. Thank you very much. The Hawks further in front. So Lance Franklin really coming of age and has been a dominating force in this match has had taken three marks seven disposals now has two goals too Hawthorne get numbers back to you they do it well hard running from the Hawks and there's Mitchell after his lads and goes into the middle to a Taylor and his kick finds Boyle by Boyle and he wants Franklin, he goes into the pocket, Franklin in front, yes, he's got it again. Too tall. Well, do they the need to consider putting Fletcher onto Franklin? Well, perhaps they do, and maybe then he'll get up the ground, but McFick a mark, so that shows he's a bit concerned. 2-2 two -two so far for Buddy Franklin. He gets his third. Three goals, all in the third quarter to Lance Franklin. Laycock and Taylor go at it again. Spills to Winderlich. Handball to McVeigh. Out wide to Fletcher, good handball. Now Fletcher finds Stanton. No. Oh, danger here to Peverly, got the bad bounce. Now Dixon, oh good kick to Crawford. He runs to 55, he looks for Franklin. He'll be lining up for his fourth for the quarter. Change needs to be made right now. Mal Michael needs to go to Lance Franklin. He's playing deep up, he's not getting up the ground. So to the pressure that Hawthorne are applying in the midfield. Four goals in the quarter to Lance Franklin as the Hawks take control. Hey, Kevin Sheedy is now placed Dustin Fletcher on Lance Franklin. Now they're standing just a couple of metres from the 10-yard square at full forward. Hawthorne dominating everywhere, certainly the centre clearances. Mitchell here wobbles it towards half forward. Roughhead, yes, a finger tipper. McFee's not having a great quarter. He's gone on the roughhead and roughhead's just marked. So from outside 50, Jared Roughhead, a chance to join the party. Oh, no. he kicked it straight into oh, the field. No, no, oh, Franklin, Franklin from 40. Don't tell me. No! Don't tell me. He's kicked five in a quarter. If you can believe that. When you're hot, you're hot. <laughs> can you... <laughs> when well, hot, just when hot. you thought McBee did something right, he smothered the ball at land in Lance Franklin's arms and he kicks a goal. <laughs> this is the he's, walked under, right. he's walked under a ladder, Madam McPhee. Oh, I mean, how unlucky is that? I mean, that is your day. It's, Not only that, it was, a reverse, it. it was a reverse torpedo. Reverse from torpedo, floater, banana. Tor <laughs> I wonder if that's something they practice at training hall for. Set play. Unbelievable. Mm. Well, now Paddy Ryder's on him. Now someone else. No, 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 no Fletcher's no. back. Fletcher's, Fletcher's back. called rank.